Everyone, I am so pumped here. Yeah, Lisa Novak, she's in the eastern suburbs, I think, or somewhere in Sydney. <laughs> in car. What car do you drive, Lisa? What, what? I am. I drive a C43 convertible AMG. Okay, she's into Merck's convertible, blonde hair, just like the movies. Um, so, so, guys and girls, you see Lisa a lot on social. You don't see her that much with me interviewing her. Quick five-minute interview, a, pub, a public acknowledgement to Lisa Novak, who last night won the award, REB, Innovator of the Year, and so, yeah. firstly, congratulations, Lisa. It is a good award. Thanks, Tom. It's a really, it's a really, really good award. Yeah, it's an important award. They're all important, but this one in particular, I'm very proud of it. Thank you. So, before I came on, I googled the word "innovate" in a modern dictionary, and in a modern dictionary, it says, "Make changes in something established, especially by introducing new methods, ideas, or products." And then goes on to say another dictionary says it's introducing something new, especially a product. And I thought to myself, that is in sync because that's what you did. You were in real estate for two years. This is like, I remember when I first met you, you were going from office management into sales or something like that. You're running the business, yeah. you're running the office yeah. in a more administrative role. But yeah. you didn't go off and do what a legacy business does. You did something else and you made yourself vulnerable because whenever you do something new, you actually put yourself out there and some people will say, it won't work. It doesn't happen in our market. Or um, And then after they sort of deny it, then, oops, you've come offline. That's I'm just, sorry. That's all right. Sorry. Then, then what happens, Lisa, after the denial, sometimes there's 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 a bit of jealousy, right? Then they think, hang on a second, this thing's becoming mainstream, right? It's 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 the way it's done. And then before you know it, more people are doing. But you've got to get through that early phase because in the early phase, when something is new, um, you do get people that are judgmental. How did you cope with that? You know, the thing is, um, the people that have innovated the most in, in our lifetime, Tom, they've always had the non-believers. Um, it's, you, you, you've got to break through the noise. People are scared of being judged. Um, people are scared to go against the grain. And I, it just, I knew there was another way. Um, I had to cut ground quickly. That was number one, because I was 46, right, when I came into sales. So I was coming up against all the big heavy hitters that had been in the industry for a really long time. And, you know, I, I wanted to cut ground and I wanted to do it quickly, but I couldn't understand why everyone did real estate the same way. That was a, that was a big thing to me. And so when I started to do a lot of this social media stuff, which I kind of fell into, I mean, I didn't come into sales looking to sell property on Facebook. Um, but when I, when I started, I, I was told by so many people, Lisa, no, no, you don't do real estate that way. You, you can't do real estate that way. Um, but I knew that there had to be another way, a different way. Um, we'd always, we've always been an innovative business, Tom, you know, for 18 years, we've run our business, Novak Properties, and it's always been innovative. Um, we've got an auntie pasto bar. That's our reception area. Um, we were told we couldn't do that. What do you mean you've got a cafe and a real estate office? What do you mean you don't have um, property photos on your windows? So innovation was never anything new to us. Um, and we've always had the non-believers saying, you can't do it that way. Um, why not? If it's something that you truly believe in and it resonates with you um, and you believe that it's going to help people, what's stopping you? I like that. And I think the issue is, Using that dictionary, Lisa, innovate to do something new. The new thing that you did was you went along and you said to an owner, hey, this is different. Let's try this. You made it easy for them to say yes. And contrary to a lot of people believe, I mean, after a, a period of time, if you're not getting the engagement and results you want, 
you then go mainstream, right? So, 100%. Uh, you know, that that is your model. You know, a lot of people think, oh, no, no, you've got to actually be on the portals. I mean, there's a lot of your stuff that is actually on the portals when it's not transacted, I think, in, in about, what, two weeks? Is it a one to two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So two I give it now, now I give my plan A, the whole social media, zero dollar marketing, it's two weeks. And then that's it. We've done our time there. And then we'll look at going on to the real estate portal after that. Okay, quick quick question, because all I want to suss out, you know when I see one of these videos that flies onto my timeline from you at a property, can I ask yes. you, have you rehearsed in your head what you're going to say in that video? No, definitely okay. not. We, we, we don't need to rehearse this stuff. It's stuff that we know. Um, we're, we're, we're real estate agents selling selling a property. So, and actually it's better when it's when it's more authentic as well. Um, sometimes you'll see me, I'm getting out of my car and I've turned that video camera on. It's better that way. Do it on the hop. If we have time to think about stuff, I think sometimes we can overthink it. During, the, during a video, do you uh, change front back facing camera by revert? Do you show a bit of the property then show you? What do you, how do you do it? No, so I face the um, phone, the camera toward myself. So yeah. that's the back of my phone. I'm facing it towards myself. Um, and then I'm turning the camera around. And the reason I do that is you actually lose engagement with people if you're swapping and changing the camera around all the time. It's hard to watch. So what do you do? You turn your phone around. Is that what you said? So the phone's facing, yes, phone's facing towards me. Yes. And then I'll turn the phone around to the property as opposed to flipping, flipping the camera around because you lose engagement with your audience. It's not okay. fun to watch it that way. And, and what do you reckon you do? Do you do a minute or two minutes or three? Is there, Have you worked out a time or? Yeah, I like to keep it try and keep it to 60 seconds. Some properties are big and it's hard to get through them in that period of time. Um, but 90 seconds max, that's enough. We don't have an attention span, Tom. You've got about three seconds to grab someone's attention. And a lot of agents will use that just doing an intro on themselves. Don't worry about it. They're on your channel. They know who you are. So just get to it. Okay. And Lisa, the next thing I was going to ask you is, is there agents with you generally when you're there? Other agents? Other agents? No, not no. always. No. Ah. No, not always. Not always. All righty. Listen. Yeah. Congratulations. Outstanding. Thank you. I hope, look, I hope that anyone that has got an idea goes through the phases. I think it was Gandhi that said it. First, um, first they, they laugh. I think what it is, is he said, first I'll laugh at you. The, for, first I'll laugh at you. Then they'll ignore you. Then they'll copy you. Right. So, yes. so there is, yes, there, yes. There, there is this, this thing. And it takes, it takes, it takes courage because as human beings, yeah. judge something that's not normal to us. It's not, we're, we're not normal wanting to no. be on audition to other people's lives. But on the same token, if you try and fit in, you become no one to anyone. 100%. And you know what else, Tom? No one actually got innovation a few years ago. People are like, what is this word innovation? Um, but, you know, we've gone through an innovation boot camp, right? It's called COVID. So people get it. Those that didn't believe that they needed um, to innovate three, four months ago certainly believe it now. Um, and, you know, look, I've got, a, I, I've got a great saying as well. If the rate of change on the outside of your business exceeds the rate of change on the inside of your business, you're in trouble. Love that. And on that point, I'm going to wish you a good Friday. I hope you go have a nice afternoon somewhere. Thank you. All Thanks, right. Tom. Thank you so much. See you.